romantic sombreros. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I was just I was just watching this as a person who just did exactly what they did, mm-hmm. and I'm I'm in pretty good shape, and we you know went up the mountain pretty quickly, and, and we were tired. Yeah. And this couple was dogging it up the whole way, so there was no fucking way when they got back to their tent that they had any fun whatsoever because my legs were on fire at the end but of the they day. could the next day and now they're engaged. no you couldn't the next day the next day stacy and i woke up we're like i can't feel my legs <laughs> but yeah. to be fair this could be like a shitty religious couple where they just like <laughs> want to see like the majesty of god and shit and that like, oh, you know yeah. what I mean? we'll get like, close to heaven <laughs> <laughs> like you know what i mean that, that couple where like sex is dead for them and it's like well we got to do something else yeah mm. The couple that gets married because they don't know, they're afraid to... Uh... I've been that couple. Have you really? I've been divorced. You've been you've been divorced? I was married for a year. Tell them about your wedding. I had a, uh, I had a Mar- <laughs> Mario Brothers themed wedding. Regular themed divorce. I wish I could walk. <laughs> Here's the thing, here's the thing though. Uh, once, like, I can't, I, I can never have another themed wedding. Are you, are you sure, are you sure it wasn't a Sonic the Hedgehog themed divorce where it was over real fast and you lost all your rings? <laughs> <laughs> it was here's the thing it was like it was Bravo. it was like it was it was it wasn't it was a bad wedding or anything it was a terrible marriage <laughs> my brother though gave the best speech which was uh he didn't know what to, he was the best man and he didn't know what to do so I was the like, princess very much like, castle. Like, like like Luigi as like no Luigi. <laughs> what he ended up doing was he took the speech from any given Sunday and he just replaced the word football with marriage. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole, but the thing was like, there was a table of comedians who loved it. Like as soon as he said, like I'm getting, like you get old in life, things get taken from you. Like the comedians were dying and everyone else just fucking hated it. <laughs> but it was that thing where it's like you can enjoy a group of your friends really liking something as everyone else in the room hates it. Mm-hmm. It was story beautiful. of my life. It was beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I got divorced in uh, a year. <laughs> wow, not yeah. bad. How long were you dating beforehand? Uh, off and on for a long time, like like a, like a few years, like a long time off and on. How like, accurate well, was it? <clears throat> well, no, 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 it wasn't like I wasn't like dressed as Mario. Oh, okay. It was just like the cake was like Mario. Oh, okay. That like... that makes it so much better. <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't like it wasn't like like she was dressed in white and everything. Drucker, I was like, so you've been featured in Kotaku? You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> every uh, you probably heard this, but every time there's a cake at the beginning of a Mario game, horrible fucking things. <laughs> Horrible, horrible things. There's always kidnappings and lizard rapes and all types of bad shit. The best is my friend, uh, like uh, Yoshi. My friend, my friend Yoshi. My friend Sean Patton is another comedian, and I was like, "Hey, do you want to do a reading at the wedding?" And he's like, uh, "Listen, every time I do a reading at a wedding, they end up getting divorced." And I was like, "No, reading." And then after I got divorced, he's like, "I fucking told you." 